and welcome to today's video. Today's video is something I have been wanting to share with you for a while. I guess it was just meant to roll over to 2020 because I promise you there will be a lot of similar budget stuff coming up, specifically aiming for budget stuff because I realize there are so many people out there who love makeup but don't necessarily want to break the bank for it and I am I stand for that. I'm completely on the same wavelength as you. I do love my luxury and high-end makeup but there's a real amazing thrill at getting the same kind of quality and finish with affordable products too. So as the title may have already told you, today's video is all about makeup that is worth the hype and all within 500 rupees, okay? So I've literally like, I've gone through my entire collection of makeup, I've picked out the products that I like that are from the drugstore category and then my team and I have literally filtered through the products I really like and fit within 500 rupees. I'm not gonna lie, this was a little bit tough because I was hoping to push the budget up to a thousand rupees. Let me know if you're open to a video like that down below in the comments but today I'm gonna be showing you makeup that I love and use and I've talked about everything within 500. I want to do a series like this on different budgets. I also want to do a skincare addition to this. So please let me know if you would be interested in that down below in the comments. But before I go ahead and make this intro any longer, let's dive right into my list. Okay, first things first, this is a product you guys have heard me talk about, I'm pretty sure enough times. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I wear this in the shade 310. Now, this is a really, really great foundation because it's very buildable. You start off with like a medium coverage and then you can build it up to being a full coverage one. I have two very important things to tell you about this foundation though. I think the packaging, yeah, the packaging also says so. It clearly says normal to oily. This is something because it's really messy works better for more oily skin tones but I'm a normal to dry skin kind of girl how do I make this work for me I have a little trick I make sure I wear a really nice thick um, moisturizing like skin cream apart from which I use a primer that is not just too matte it has a little dewy finish to it which goes ahead and enables this foundation to just look absolutely great on me and doesn't give the dry powdery finish considering I already have normal to dry skin this is a hands down amazing amazing foundation by the way the list that i'm going to be sharing with you is a mix of different types of products so you'll see a mix of everything over here um different product categories and not necessarily saying that my shades are the one you obviously have to go by the reviews i'm giving you today are based on product formula and performance not just based on shade in case that helps the second product I have over here is something you've seen me do a wear test on here on my channel. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. When I did this wear test some time ago, I also tried the uh, foundation apart from the concealer and I didn't love the foundation so much. I really wanted to like the foundation because it was so affordable and I was hoping, oh my god, I really hope I can like really like put it out and endorse it. But the foundation did not make the cut for me. I will go ahead and link that video in for you guys somewhere here and down below in the description so you guys can go take a look. But this concealer is absolutely gorgeous. I wear this in the shade light to medium beige. I will link all of the products, the 10 products that I'm recommending for you guys with the shades mentioned down below. Go click. Okay, this next one is a relatively new launch. It is a Kajal pencil from K-Beauty. There aren't a lot of things under 500 rupees from K-Beauty. I'm gonna be honest and say that. But the product formulas are really, really amazing. The Onyx shade Kajal that I have over here in my hand is a beautiful matte. That was a really bad swatch, Anam. Um, it just went everywhere. It's a beautiful, a creamy formula. It's jet black and it does not budge. This is something that is 100% worth investing in and it's something that I wear a lot even though I don't wear a lot of kajal down, I wear a lot of kajal to tight line my eyes up above. So this is something that has become one of my go-to products recently. The next product category I have in my hand over here is a liquid highlighter. This baby is from Miss Claire and in all honesty, it is the perfect example of Sasta, Sundar and Tikal. It is a liquid highlighter that has so much beam, so much beam, you need sunglasses, honestly. And this is a really true example of less is more. Use very, very little. I want to give you uh, two tips actually uh, for how to use your liquid highlighters in case you are confused about how much or how to use them. Number one, apply it before your foundation all over your face or mix it with your foundation and apply it all over your face. You will get that glow from within look. Of course, less is more. Don't put more than the foundation, otherwise you'll 
just look like a disco ball. Uh, second tip that I want to give you is take a tiny little bit and highlight the high points of your face and then go over it with a powder highlighter. This will give you a really nice natural gleaming finish and leave your skin looking really radiant and glowy. This particular liquid highlighter is in the shade 04 and if you're a skin tone similar to mine um, which is an NC42 in a MAC or a brown sugar in a Huda Beauty or a 310 in a Maybelline or, um, or in a Lakme if you're about a 300 which is from the 95 series that I have over here. This is not one of my recommendations for today. I'm just giving you a ballpark. This is sitting here because I'm currently wear testing it on my face for a different video which may or may not be up by the time this video goes up. Um, so if you're around my skin tone, I feel like this shade will do really well for you. It's really nice and gold, but it's not yellow gold. It's got that beautiful Indian skin tone friendly kind of gold in it. The next product that I have is actually a lip pencil and this baby is from PAC. Uh, it's a really beautiful red, but with an orange twist kind of a lip pencil. Very buttery, it's great to define your lips with it as well as go ahead and fill them out. Again, everything is within 500 rupees. What I love is that it is so long, it is much longer than the usual uh, lip pencils that you get in the market, which basically means you're getting more for the money. And at the same time, it's just, it's, it's a great product. It stays really nice and long as well. In tandem with this, I'm gonna show you the next product, which is a lipstick. This one is from Sugar, and you guys have seen me do a detailed uh, swatch video for you guys when I got this in PR. I showed you all the shades. I will link in that video for you as well. This is from the Smudge Me Not Liquid Lipstick Collection. The shade in my hand over here is 52, which is a modern open. I'm wearing, I'm literally wearing both of these products on my lips right now, and I absolutely love the combination. While the pencil has a slightly orangish undertone, this is a slightly darker red, which brings them to to be the perfect drugstore red combination for a lipstick, for a lip pencil and a lipstick. So if you're a lover of red lips, I think I gave you a solution and a great combination. One product by the way which I don't have because I think it was in my empties video is the Nykaa Prep Me Up Primer. This is a really 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 good primer. I have travelled so much with this primer. It's absolutely great. I personally look at it as a much more affordable baby that comes from the mix of Calabar and Smashbox. I, you know what I mean? Like, it's very nice, it's not too silicone-y, it makes your makeup last really nice and long. My laugh lines don't crease, the area around my nose stays really nice. It's just a really fab primer. I love it and I, that's the next one on my list which unfortunately I don't have. The only reason I haven't gone ahead and refilled it and bought another one is because I'm sitting on about 12 or 15 primers right now. I don't even know. But I know that when I go to buy a primer when I'm looking for a drugstore option, that's the one I'm going to. The next one over here, speaking of Calabar, is the Calabar Liner. This is a beautiful felt liner that you guys have definitely seen me use on various occasions. It's beautifully jet black and does really really well with like mattifying and lasting really nice and long. And with liquids, sometimes you can see a little bleed if it's not a good product. I feel like beginners should start with felt liners if not like kajals or something. But I feel like felt liners, I'm slightly biased towards felt liners, let's just say that. And this one is something I have really really grown to love over a period of time. It is one of my staples and uh, I'm recommending it to you. I think I'm down to product number 9 and 10. The next one I have over here is the Body Glow Idle Eyes Eyeshadow. Now this is an eyeliner that basically goes into being an eyeshadow which is really cool and innovative. You have the liner tip on one side and then you have like this little blurring eyeshadowish tool on the other side, a smudger really. This is really great for beginners because if you don't know how to give yourself a really nice eyeshadow socket, this will come to your rescue. And I think they have a lot of colors in this. I'm particularly biased to the hot chocolate because I feel like it gives me that very natural, barely there, is it there, is it not there, smoky eye. Plus it has just a tad bit of sparkle in it which comes in really handy for that little glam quotient. Um, and it lasts really nice and long also, by the way. And uh, are we down to the last product? Yes, we are. Oh, this one is the Brow On Point Microfine Pencil in the shade Wicked Wand. 
Okay, so little confession. I think I've finished it off. I used this two days ago, and I've just kept it aside for a product empties video. And because I love it so much, it's here being recommended to you. There's literally nothing left in it at all, as you might be able to see. It is over. I love it so much. I use it a lot because of how fine it is. It really helps you outline as well as add the feathered strokes through the eyes. So it's a really nice technique to go ahead and um, densify your eyebrows. Without using big strokes, they're tiny little strokes that go through, which gives it a nice natural look. I'm not wearing it on my brows right now. Sorry, I don't know why I looked there. I'm not wearing it on my eyes right now because I finished it a couple of days ago. Um, but yeah, I think these are my top 10 recommendations to you guys. If you guys want me to do a skincare edition to this or a up to thousand rupee version of this, or if you guys even want me to do a what is worth investing in from the luxury beauty category, please let me know. I'm always reading your comments. If you've made it to the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a secret code over here the secret code for this video is i want a skincare edition or i want a luxury edition or i want a thousand rupee edition whatever of the three that you want if you want all three put all three i'm absolutely okay with that i want to give you what you want and what you want to see i should really go clean my hand now because it's becoming a mess it's a mess um i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button bell button keep coming back for more and I'm making lots of videos and I can't wait for you to see all of them. I love you guys very, very much. Thank you for watching. Bye.